let's learn about the context management and the with keyword in Python so before understanding the with keyword let's uh, try to learn how to handle resources such as files and database connections in Python so there's a function called uh, open which will help to open a given file and perform you know read and write operations on it using Python okay let's see an example of that I have a text file here called sample text file so inside this I have around three lines of uh, text line 1 line 2 and line 3 so what I'm going to do is using this open function I'm going to open this text file and print all the lines that are present in this text file so let me write my file equal to I'll use this open function and open my text file so the name of my text file is sample text file dot txt so I'm going to read um, open this file in read mode okay so I don't want to perform any re write operations I just want to read all the contents of this file and print all the lines present in that text file so I'm, I'll write my file equal to open sample text sample text file dot txt in read mode so R indicates that we are trying to open the text file in read mode so I'll execute this so we have the no uh, the file opened okay now now the one now now that the file is opened let's print the contents of this text file line by line by using the for loop so I'll write for line in my file so for each of the lines that are present in my file I will simply print each of those lines so we can see that it has printed this is line 1 line 2 and line 3 so this is all the lines that are present in our text file okay so once this job is done it is very important that I close the file so now this the file is still open even though we have printed all the contents of that file we read the file and printed it the file is still opened by by you know by Python right so once this job is done it is very important that I close the file so that it gets released from the allocated resources so we can close the file by writing my file dot so we have a function called close so which is going to release the allocated resources for this file so it is very important to do that okay so now uh, let us assume that uh, while we are reading the lines so when we are executing this line and um, some error occurred and the program sto stops uh, you know abruptly so let's assume we have the entire code like this so in one shot we write file equal to open so this is how we generally write the program right so we perform this first we perform this open operation we print all the lines and we finally close the file so what I'm trying to say is when it when when the Python is performed this operation right for line in my file so for some reason uh, reason the the program abruptly uh, stops or there was some exception so it doesn't even reach this line so which means that it doesn't close the file so it is very important that so as I, to, I told you that it's very important to close the file once the job is done right so in order to you know um, close the file so we can make use of uh, something called exception management or the try catch block so so that we where we, where we can uh, close the file in case there was any exception while executing the program so we can just encapsulate this entire code in between the try and um, catch so it's in Python we write accept instead of catch so in other programming languages we write try and catch so in Python we write try and accept okay so in accept we write my file dot close 
so what was the purpose of using this try catch block is that so when we're executing this line and for example we're executing this line some exception occurs and uh, for some reason the program stops abruptly and it does not execute my file dot close so when if it doesn't execute execute in the try block it's going to catch the exception and it comes to exception and execute the my file dot close method in the exception block so which means that even if there is an any exception my file dot close will still run and it will close the file okay so instead of writing the close method in both the try and accept block so we have we have written the my file dot close in both try and accept so instead of writing this there's something called uh, try catch and finally implementation so the finally block will get executed whether or not if there is any exception or not okay so there's something called uh, finally okay so instead of writing my file dot close in both the try and uh, except block we can just write it once in the finally block in the exception we'll simply write uh, some error occur so what does the finally block do is whether or not there is any exception or not the finally block will always execute okay so that is what the finally block does so when we execute this line so since now there is no um, error so this gets executed and then finally gets executed my file dot close so let me try to print something here right okay which means we just want to uh, know uh, make sure that finally gets executed right so I'll execute this so you can see that in finally so even though there was no exception it it still went to finally block and it printed this uh, line in finally and finally it closed the file okay so now that we know the purpose of uh, of closing the open files and how it can be made mandatory by using the try catch and finally blocks we will now try to understand how to do this with keyword no, use using the with keyword. So we'll try to do this using with keyword. Okay. So we'll try to understand what with keyword is and how how useful it is. Okay. So the with keyword, the with keyword makes it easier to work with context management or handling the resources such as you know files and database connections. So the with keyword does the same job. So the with keyword does the same job of this try catch and finally block along with the releasing of allocated resources so it does both the job of try catch finally along with releasing of the resources with just with keyword so let's see how to um, use the with keyword to perform this context management operations or, or you know handling of resources so the syntax is something like with and then we have the context manager expression so in our case it is basically opening of the text file in read mode okay and as my file we're opening this file as my file and then you can perform the operations that you want to perform so in our case we're just printing the all the lines that are present in our file right so for line in my file print line okay so now let's execute this so we have a syntax error for line in my file so we're going to print all the lines okay so we can see that uh, it performs the same operation right so it's going to print all the lines that are present in our no, text file so now you know how the with keyword simplifies so you can see with very less number of lines you're able to achieve the same thing that you were doing using this entire piece of code so now you know how the with keyword simplifies working with the resources 
you just don't have you just have to worry about what you want to achieve with the resources instead of worrying about the exception handling and and you know whether the resources was closed properly or not so this is how the with keyword can be used